So we just launched a virtual machine for Linux. Now let's go ahead and launch one for Windows. So I'm gonna go to the top here and type in virtual machines. We'll go to the first link. I'm gonna hit add, add virtual machine. And uh, what we'll do is we'll create a new group. The last one I had was called Bajor. I'm gonna call this one Cardassia, Cardassia. And uh, I'm gonna name this uh, machine also named Cardassia. And this time what we want to do is, is we want to move over to a Windows server. I find the easiest one to learn with is the Windows 10 Pro server, uh, just because I find these ones a little bit daunting. So I'm going to go Windows 10 Pro. Uh, and then what we're going to do is go choose a larger size. This is not going to work. We cannot run a Windows server on a B1 LS. So we're going to have to go a little bit larger. And uh, we don't have to go too much larger here, but the idea here is that there's gonna be a, a, a more expensive spend here. So we're not gonna be running to keep this running for long, but here we have the B2S, that is the appropriate size to run this. Anything smaller I don't think is going to work. And we are going to put in a password here. So I'm just gonna put in Cardassia. And we'll do Cardassia123. Uh, Put a capital on it, I guess. We'll just do this here. And I'm just gonna go back and lowercase this one. And uh, we're gonna allow the inbound port of 3389 because that is what RDP needs. I'm gonna confirm that I have a Windows license. I actually don't, but the thing is you can still launch one for uh, your test purposes. It'll, it'll just complain saying you're not activated. Uh, so there are some limitations, but it's uh, good enough for us to uh, learn, okay? And so now that that is all great, we'll go next to disks. We're gonna go with uh, premium or standard SSD this time. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and hit uh, next and go to networking. It's going to create us a new VNet, which is a great idea. We're going to let it create a, uh, a network security group on the NIC, just like before. We'll go ahead and hit next. Uh, we'll leave all these options alone. This all seems fine to me. Uh, and we'll hit next, review and create. And we'll go ahead and create this server. All right, and so that's gonna go ahead and create it. So I'll just see you back here in a moment when that's uh, done deploying. All right, and so after a short little while here, it looks like our Windows server is now deployed. So what we can do is go to that resource. And if you wanted to see what it's deployed, it's the same stuff as always. You have your network interface card, your virtual network uh, NSG, the IP address. But let's actually go to that resource now. And so let's see how we can gain access to this virtual machine. And so what we can do is use RDP. Luckily, I am on a Windows machine. And so um, I already have the RDB client uh, that I can use. So all I gotta do is download the RDB file. And then once we have that file, I can just double click it and I can open this up. If you're on a Mac, uh, you can download uh, the app in the app store. And so I'll go ahead and type in my password. So my username was Cardassia. And then my password was capital C A R D A S S I A one two three. We'll hit OK, and then it'll give us another warning. We'll say yes, and now we are in our virtual machine. So there you go. How cool is that? I will just give it a moment to load up. But this is a full uh, Windows 10 Pro. Uh, and as I said before, you know, we don't actually have a license. So if you're afraid of spinning up because you think you're gonna get charged a, a license fee uh, for Windows, you do not have to worry. That's not gonna happen. You have to do some manual intervention uh, for that to happen. So we'll just wait a little while here for this to load. Um, it is not, we're not using the most powerful machine. So it does take a little bit of time. And so we just hit accept here. And here we are. So we are on, uh, <laughs> we have our nice Windows machine here, whoops. I don't know if it has any games. Let's go take a look. Maybe we played Minesweeper. Um, no, maybe maybe you have to download it in the store. I'm not that familiar with Windows machines, but um, so there you go. So we'll go ahead and close that. And you know, if we were using the Bastion, it's the same process. You saw how we used it with SSH, but if we had the Bastion and it's so much work to set one up, we already did that before. Uh, but all you do is enter your credentials in on the page, just as we did, and, it, and it's just a lot easier that way. Uh, so let's go ahead and just tear down this machine. We're all done with it. So I'm just gonna hit um, uh, delete. 
And uh, if we find that resource group, we should be able to easily delete them all. I find the easiest ways to go up here, go to all resources, and then there's the resource group there, and then hit delete resource group, and then I'll type in the name of it, which is Cardassia, and I'll delete all those resources. But after that's done, always just take a double check uh, on your all resources tab, and just make sure that those resources are gone, just because sometimes they stick around. But there you go, that's as simple as it was to launch a Windows machine.